First of all, please follow my channel and activate the bell to receive all new. New York Judge Merchant has fined former President Donald Trump for repeatedly violating the gag order in the hush money trial. After prosecutors had asked Merchant to hold Trump in contempt for violating the gag order, citing 10 social media posts from before and during the trial where the district attorney's office accused Trump of violating the judge's restrictions barring Trump from commenting on witnesses and jurors. They also want the posts taken down, prosecutors cited Trump's comments about Michael Cohen, Stormy Daniels, and the makeup of the jury pool. Merchant ruled Trump violated the gag order nine times for criticizing expected trial witnesses in posts on social media and his campaign page. Trump must pay $9,000 fine by the end of the week. $1,000 per violation is the maximum allowed by New York state law. This is the first sanction against Trump for violating the gag order in this case. Merchant also threatened incarceration if Trump willfully violates the gag order again, writing in his ruling. Defendant is hereby warned that the court will not tolerate continued willful violations of its lawful orders and that if necessary and appropriate under the circumstances, it will impose an incarceratory punishment. Soon Trump on Tuesday afternoon removed the seven offending posts from Truth Social and the two offending posts from his campaign website, as Merchant ordered. Judge said, reposts are endorsements. React on Trump's defense argued that reposts of other people's words do not violate the gag order and that the posts represent protected political speech in response to attacks. Merchant rejected both arguments in his contempt ruling Tuesday. First, he found that reposts are, in this case, endorsements. There can be no doubt whatsoever that. Second, Merchant acknowledged that the gag order does allow Trump to respond to political attacks, but said criticisms of key witnesses were not allowed. Also former President Donald Trump granted permission to attend Son Barron's graduation ceremony, criminal trial related to hush money will not take place on the same day as his son's graduation. This means that Trump will be able to attend his son's ceremony like any other proud parent. Judge announced this decision on Tuesday, bringing great relief to Trump and putting to rest any speculation that he might miss out on his son's big day. The judge said, I don't think the May 17th date is a problem, so Mr. Trump can certainly attend that date. Attend his son's graduation, Trump mentioned missing his wife's birthday on Friday, April 26, during his court session. Just before entering the courtroom, Trump expressed frustration about not being with his wife, stating, I want to wish my wife Melania a very happy birthday, he told the reporters present there to cover the trial. It would be nice to be with her but I'm in a courthouse for a rigged trial. 